Hey Animaniacs, so I have the flu, and it has completely taken my voice away. But hey, let's see what an electronic voice review would be like and talk about DC's newest movie, haha, ha, nice try. I would not be able to say anything critical of it anyway without some crybaby fanboys saying I am biased, and I am, towards movies with competent storytelling, segue to DC's animated Justice League vs Teen Titans. It's not perfect, but at least everyone's motivations are clearly explained, themes are properly set up and pay off. The action scenes are not eyesores and we can properly see everything, and characters are more. Um. Okay maybe not more likable, but are certainly more fleshed out, I am a big fan of DC animated movies. However in 2014 with DC's release of War, starting their new direction of taking inspiration from the new 52, the movies have not been quite as good, the movies with Batman have been the better ones with one exception, Damian Wayne, the spawn of Batman and Talia al Ghul. The new Robin, is an insufferable little shitbag. He is the worst sort of overpowerful, self-important, overconfident, snot-nosed little brat. And worse is that the narrative supported it. He was able to take on Deathstroke, completely single-handedly, though thankfully he did get his ass handed to him by Nightwing. He had been getting more tolerable as the movies went on, but he's still the worst thing in these movies. In JL vs Titans, Batman finally gets fed up with Damien's attitude and decides to send him to the Teen Titans to teach him about teamwork. In this universe the Teen Titans have supposedly been around for a while, originally founded by the old Robin and Starfire. Now Starfire is grown and the current leader with Beast Boy, Raven, and Blue Beetle as the younger recruits. I was really happy to see this version of Starfire especially considering what the new 52 did to her. Damian Wayne shows up, and big surprise, he is a self-absorbed shitbag, declaring how much better he is than everyone else, considering how teamwork is the established theme of the film. I was really hoping that the Titans would then team up and kick his ass, to show how effective teamwork is. But no, Damian challenges Blue Beetle kicks his ass but then takes a plasma blast to the face and is healed by Raven, that was apparently enough to him to start changing his ways. But even then the Damien worship does not stop, because later it shows him winning Dance Dance Revolution against Beast Boy, when he's never played it before. And then at one point the others get cornered by demons and Damien knocks them all back single-handed, while older experienced leader Starfire gets knocked out. Seriously they were supernatural demons, what would he have done if bombs didn't work? I'm not saying Damien is not exceptionally skilled, but he is beyond unsympathetic. Made worse that this really is his story, so he has more screen time than any other character, including Raven whose story this really is, but spends a chunk of time being rescue fodder because of course she is. Yes Robin warms up to the other titans over time, and even calls himself a titan, but he never stops being super special better than everyone else, learns anything about teamworks, or ever shows respect to anyone else's skills. I can allow this to pass to a point as we might see him grow more in a future Teen Titans movie, but I also for once want these movies to not focus on Damien so much. At the very least he had to share the spotlight in Bat Blood, which I think was better than the other Batman movies, but still had its own problems. A lot of Nightwing whining in that one. But I will admit Damien's final fight was both surprising and satisfying in many ways. Aside from Damien, the rest of the movie is pretty good, but not great. Damien really does ruin most of it. The story is about Trigon possessing the League to do the whole daughter Raven portal to Earth thing, which allows for some really creepy imagery and excellent action scenes. The title however, is a bit misleading, first off the League is possessed, and second, the Titans spend barely 5% of this movie fighting the possessed League, spending more time fighting Trigon's demons or each other, in fact most of the time they do fight the League, they get their asses kicked. This should have been called Teen Titans and the Day of Trigon, still overall, I basically like this movie, not just because this is very close in tone to Young Justice, but even the new Justice League who have been so bland here are at their most likable since before war.
When the movie finally breaks away from Damien being Damien, the other Titans are great for the time they have. With very impressive skills and action scenes, God forbid they take any dialogue time away from Damien though. I really like this leader Starfire, but she does seem to get knocked out a lot. I really like Beast Boy and Blue Beetle and wish they had more time. Though OG Beast Boy is still best Beast Boy, it's actually sort of hilarious how they maneuver the plot to make Cyborg an honorary titan when in this universe he was made part of the Justice League first. Seriously look at who's prominent on the cover. Yeah screw Blue Beetle, still it's nice to see the gang together again, properly, sort of. Man at times I can't decide who irritates me more, the one issue some might have is with Raven, while basically the same Raven we know from that show, that Raven was way more snarky and sarcastic, this one comes off as bit more vulnerable and even touchy-feely, which makes sense for this story, but some might not prefer this personality, or how they are blatantly trying to ship her with shithead Damien, God cartoon stop shipping Raven with people you suck at it, and I can see some missing Starfire's Earth culture confusion, but there is still some hint of it here, so on appealing characters, it is a little weak, it's definitely no young justice and shitbag Damien stealing the spotlight for too much of the movie away from characters who might be interesting certainly drags it down, so it's not quite up with the older better DC movies, but I did still enjoy it as a good action movie that was well scripted and well animated. And even if you prefer BVS to this, at least overall this is still a more faithful return to the Titans than the alternative. Recommendation Level 3.7 out of 5